everybody and welcome! Since some of you accused me of building not the proper interplanetary system because it was too small or did not have enough engines, well, if you poke the bear, the bear is gonna strike back and this is me striking back with a slightly bigger interplanetary spaceship. And this thing here can carry more than 100 kerbals. I think the uh, exact number is something about 110. And it weighs almost 700 tons without the booster. It actually can get into orbit on its own, but yeah, I just wanted to have a big booster. And this is also designed to land, but since it is so heavy and the air brakes are maybe not enough, and yeah, you can see here, this is really, really doomed. Maybe I'll give it a shot some time later. But you can see here we have already reached orbit and let's take a better look at our spaceship. You can see I've built it mainly out of those Mark 1 inline crew modules. And it also has one of my specialties, an interior. There you go, Valentina is exploring the belly of the beast, so to speak. It is, uh, well, a little bit similar to what the proposed plans of the interior of the real SpaceX interplanetary system could be. But, of course, it has been kerbalized. And look at that, what a beautiful view of our home planet. Okay, now, before we can get to Duna, we need to refuel, and therefore we need the tanker. So this is basically the same ship, but only without the crew capsules, but with some tanks in the middle. Okay, staging successful, circularizing, there we go, it's a little bit shorter than the other one, but that does not matter, and yeah, docking without my favorite mod, the docking port alignment indicator, is really hard, but I managed anyway. So after transferring a ton, well, many tons of fuel, it is time to get this thing back down to Earth, and since the creed of SpaceX is reusability, this thing can also be landed back on the surface and be reused sometime later again. But of course we need to do our big transfer burn to get to Duna, so we got our ejection from Kerbin and are planning our insertion on Duna, there we go. Of course we have some solar sails. And since we're already skipped ahead in time, we are now closing in on the atmosphere of Duna. Boom! There we go. Okay, so we're burning really hard. So we don't, well, burn up in the atmosphere, so I'm really relying on those big engines in the back. I can switch half of them off with an action group. So you can see me here only riding on six engines instead of 12, but that is enough for Duna's low gravity and... Touchdown! Whoa, 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 Thank God for those Werner engines. Well, no, don't thank God. It was me. I was the intelligent designer of this thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, once more a successful landing of a slightly bigger interplanetary system recreation. And of course, one of the main things is getting on the surface of the red planet. So that's why I put another crew capsule down there. And Jab is enjoying the view of Duna. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.